Hey guys! We're here today to check out a band from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Our home country, not our home province. We're we're in southern tip of Ontario. Well, not really tip, but we're, we're in Toronto, so... We're the place where everyone else in Canada hates us. Yeah, we're the place where everybody else wants to be, but they can't. Because we don't have enough real estate here for everybody else. Yeah. So we have to be picky and choosy. They let us in. Well, me. You were born here, so they let me in. So, But that was before. That was before. That was before. That was before things got a little bit tighter. Just like an unzainous. So, Ocean Drive, Losing Sight is the name of the song. The name of the video featuring Drew York, which, by the way, I don't know who he is, so forgive me. My bad. You don't know him. I don't, I don't know him. All right. We, we, we're going to find out while watching this video. But the reason why I'm sitting here with you to check out this video is not just because they're from Canada, not just because they're from Montreal. I love Montreal. It's because this song is about something that's happening in Montreal. There was a law that was passed that prohibits, I think it's social work, not social workers, but people that work for the government uh, to, of wearing any religious garments, anything, oh. anything religious, right? And when I first, when I first heard about this, I was like, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I don't, I don't want your Jesus in my face while I'm at work. I don't want you coming with your Jesus piece hanging like your fucking Kanye West in your prime. Like, I don't want that shit. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. Like, that's that's what I thought. And then I, then I went a little bit deeper into this and it's like... Then you forgot there's other religions out there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember that I'm not alone. You know, there's other people from other faiths. And, you know, there's the Sikhs that wear the, the, the turban and all of that yeah. stuff. So, in, in the, the latest news that I heard about this was that there was a school teacher that was fired because she was wearing a hijab. And I was like, how fucked up is that? How fucked up is that? And I was like, fuck, this, this proves the point. That there's, sometimes you start with a really good idea, which is you're trying to create equality for everybody so people don't feel alienated yeah, and whatever. Yeah. And then you take it too far. You take it way too far. And then you actually draft a law that's racist. Very. Very. Yeah. Religious discrimination, which is against our Charter of Rights in Canada. Yeah, you, so have, you have freedom of, of religious expression. So I don't know how the hell that actually got... Well, it's only in Quebec, right? So it, it, They're their own country over there. I know, but... How, they don't how, even want to be a part of Canada. But how they're not getting sued? Like, how is the federal government not getting involved in this shit? I, I mean, like, seriously. I so think they've given up. They've given up. They've given up on them? Yeah. It, it's it's insane that this is... This is happening. This... I. I Anyways. In our own country, too. I know. It was a huge topic of discussion during the federal elections. But, you know, all the parties need the Quebec vote. So everybody's like, eh, you know, it's kind of bad. But, eh, fuck, man. G like, get some ball. It's it's either, There's no such thing as kind of kind of racist. Kind of, it's either you're it's racist. It's either you are or you're not. And this law is. So, you know, take it for, for what it's worth. So I'm with these guys. Uh, this song is to bring some awareness to that thing that's happening in their own province, and I'm, and I, I'm, you know, it's it's disappointing to feel like we're in 2022 and and these kind of laws are getting passed. Like I mean, yeah. it's, and once again, I could understand perhaps it, it's like a, a law passed that you cannot have a Christmas tree in the office because it offends other people of other religion. Yeah. I'm sure it started with with some good intention. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Hell is full of people that had good intentions. So on that note, are you ready for this? Yeah.
Golly. Uh, you know, some people might say I'm too old for this shit. I disagree. I'm guessing that was Drew York. I think age is just a number. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm new to this band. I'm new to this whole thing. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just here for the ride. All I got to say is when I saw that, you know, NWO t-shirt, I was like, okay, fuck. We're, we're good here. We're good here. Also, the style of the lead singer. Yeah, the, 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 okay, but let's go back to the bass because the, the fucking bass player rocked. The NWO dude. shirt. The NWO shirt. The way he was grabbing the bass and spinning around. And his bass was so fucking low. Oh, I don't think it could have gotten any lower. Any lower, he's playing with his toes. I mean, any lower, he would have to be a, on top of a platform with the bass below the platform. That's the only way he could get. But the spinneroonies. The spinneroonies were cool. Grabbing the bass doing the spinneroonies, fucking sick. Oh. And the drummer too, with the th with the flicking of the drumstick, tons of style, tons of coolness. But then you also saw, you know, we always talk about the long sweaters is the new it thing. But another thing I like, I see is uh, t-shirts with the the Russian striped, you know, the sailor stripes underneath. Mm -hmm. That's another thing I see a lot. So that's also in the realm of the the long sweaters. So what what flannel did for grunge, long sweaters and stripes are doing for metalcore. Is yeah, that, is that where you're going yeah. with? Yeah. Wow. But they have to be like three times too big. Or four. Or four. There's no such thing as too big. That's where you need to start. You just can't wear your own size. I bet you if they start making shirts with like, instead of like XXXL or whatever at the Metal back. Metal core? Instead of that saying at the X back. X-core. Just no, X-core. At, at the back it would just be like Baby Gorilla. At, at the back, I bet you a lot of... Uh, and that would be the... the uh, that's the would, new size. That's the new size? Dude, right. baby gorilla size? That could fit, I don't know who, the people on, you know, the A Thousand Pound Sisters? You know that show on TLC? Oh, I can't watch that show. I, I can't, My I friend can't, has been forcing me to watch it. I cannot watch that show. And I gotta say, it's funny as hell. Yeah, I can't watch that show. No, I cannot watch that show. <laughs> because you... I, I, I have... I his have, reason, is, his reason that he told me is like, he's one donut away from looking like that. Yeah, man. I'm like, fuck, you know, I, I can't watch that show. I'm a, I'm a Humpty Dumpty myself, man. I, oh, well, watching that show makes me feel so much better about myself. I cannot watch that show. I, I start having like flashes of what my future could could be and I'm like, fuck. No, no. Anyways, uh, you just got me depressed. I was pretty excited. I was really Are happy about this. No, I'm fucking depressed because now I'm I'm seeing them rolling and I'm hating. She's yeah. rolling. Oh, fuck no! They have the motorized scooters and shit. I know, but they see them rolling. She can't fit on the it. motorized scooter. No, there's a weight limit. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought she had it like all jacked up, like you know, uh, exhibit came and pimped it, pimped her right or something. No. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. She's a, right you know the walking things, like the yeah, yeah, the canes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what she uses. Does it have wheels or is it just the no, regular? No, 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 no. Oh, she got the old school shit? She can walk. Fuck. Anyways. One of them is, is skinnier than the other. Okay, can we not fucking talk about those two sisters because it's fucking depressing I'm putting me in right now. pain right now. Like, my stomach is hurting me right now just thinking about their faces. Fuck. It's just, oh, just unhealthy shit. I mean, I'm unhealthy, but if I if <laughs> if you ever have to call a construction crew before you call the hospital, just fucking shoot me. Just put me out of my misery. I don't want people rolling me in flour just to find my anus. Please, fucking, <laughs> just shoot me. Anyways, can we get back to this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So, did you like it? I did, I did. I liked it too. I thought it was very energetic. I thought it was very cool. Now, if I didn't know the backdrop, I would have to get into the lyrics. And, and obviously, in a song yeah, like this, yeah. it's kind of hard to get into the lyrics or to understand exactly what's going on. And the video also doesn't really give you much to go on what the theme is behind it. Uh, so, if I didn't know the theme... That's perhaps the only downside that it has is if I didn't know what drove it, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't have I known it doing, either. If you're you know? doing a song, if you're doing a song about something this serious, you need to like. If you, if you have a political or a social message, yeah, behind your music, I it, think it, the, the video needs most to. Like it is in the in the lyrics, but this type of music, it's hard to get towards the lyrics. You know, I, I know it's like death metal or or exactly or deathcore so or any of those. The, genres. the next best thing is the video. Your video should be more about it. Uh, I'm thinking represent more what the lyrical content. Yeah, is all maybe about. there's some hidden stuff in the video that that we didn't get. You know, the whole standing behind the glass, but you want to make. Oh, it I thought more... that was because of COVID. I thought they were trying to social oh, distance. You, you, you want to make it more out there. You know, you want to make it so you know it's more just... more more apparent. Exactly. Yeah, I, I'm with you, and I think that's perhaps the only downside. That's the only downside, and because... it's the music video, not even the music. Yeah, itself. yeah, but but but. Outside of that, if you just judge the video for itself and for the the vibe that the song has, I, I actually dig the video. 
because you see the guys like moving around it's very energetic so i actually dig the video i just think it could have played a more a more predominant role in terms of what the theme is all about yeah, yeah. That, that's all i'm saying but the song itself man i really like the vocals i like the duality of the vocals because they 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 offer two very different styles two very different approaches so that that makes the song feel a little bit more energetic as well it's not like you have two guys with the same tone with the same delivery where you can't even tell who's who uh you, you know so i i i like that style i like that approach of having two guys that are a little bit outside of each other's comfort zone or each, each other's boxes because it makes the dynamic of the song feel a little bit better it makes the song come together a little bit better like what's the point of having two guys that would sound exactly the same or similar to each other uh, or or give the same sort of vibe to the track then I, I don't feel like there's any point in that so I like the fact that these two guys broke the song a little bit you, ha you have one guy starting with one style then you get another guy coming in then you had a little bit of both then you have another guy I, I like that vocally makes the song feel a lot more dynamic because musically the song is fucking dynamic I mean this is not a track that gets stuck in the mud it this song has energy and heaviness if there's two things, going. it definitely gets people going it makes you want to break some shit up yeah fuck it, it makes you want to break some shit up and and anytime you can bring awareness to any issues that are happening uh in your neighborhood in your country in your area that you feel strongly about i don't care i don't care how other people feel about it i'm i'm always i'm always happy to see musicians using their platform and using their music for good for well for something that they believe in the good or bad, I mean, that's it, kind of... It could be good for some people, good, uh, not good in for In this case, I mean, who, is it bad for who? I mean, not bad for the people who voted for the damn law. Yeah. That, that's pretty much it. But I, I, I always admire musicians that are not afraid of going down that path because it's a path that not everybody's comfortable going down, especially these days, because people feel like, oh, you know, if we ruffle some feathers... Dudes, if, if, you, if you're ruffling feathers, you're ruffling racist feathers. So I, I, I don't think that's the kind of audience you want anyway. So... There's no harm in it. Just just do your thing. But I still applaud them because it's never really, for as much as it might seem like it's an easy decision to make, it's never really an easy decision to go down that path. Uh, and more so these days because people are very sensitive about every fucking thing. Yeah. So uh, I applaud them for, for taking a stand for something that they believe in and that's always an important thing to do. Um, and the music itself was fucking fun. So I'm glad we checked these guys out. I mean, when we, whenever we listen to bands from Montreal, it's normally technical death metal outside of the agonist it's normally technical death metal so metal core from from montreal for me it's kind of new you know what i mean uh, me personally but listen they're they're a different country out there so they got they have they have different blood out there once you cross the border from ontario into into montreal the quality of music goes it, up tenfold yeah yeah, yeah. tenfold I, I don't know so i'm never surprised of how good music comes from uh, there. That, that is under regardless of the genre but let's face the facts Montreal is a hotbed of technical death metal. Let's, yeah. just, let's just keep that straight there. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Go check out these guys. Ocean Drive, new band from Montreal. Uh, trying to do some big things in the metalcore scene and the music scene in Canada. Go support these guys. And if you're from Canada, definitely throw some, some support their way. Listen to them on Spotify. Follow them on social media. Do whatever you got to do. Uh, but show these young kids some love. They look like young kids. Oh, I'm an old guy, so... Show these young kids some love and uh, and make sure they they keep doing their thing. All right? Yeah. All right. See you on the next video. See ya.